Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this session, we will be seeing how you can do the management of your smart console and the basic settings how you can do for managing the smart console or you can say managing the checkpoint management server using a smart console. So guys, let's go to the manage and setting option over here and let me show you the very first thing. If you want to create a administrator user with some privileges that is possible by going to manage and setting over here and then go to administrator and you have to create a new user but before we create this user definitely we have to define the rights also for that user right so to define the rights what you have to do is we have to go to permission profiles so before creating a user we will go to the permission profiles over here and either you can use the pre-configured profiles or you can create the new profile as per your requirement you will see you have a pre-configured profiles like read only all read write all and a super user or as if you want to create your own new profile you can do it by uh, just clicking new button over here it will open a window for you to create a new profile and it will ask you what all you want to define like overview the permission what permission you need read write all or you need an auditor that is a read only permission or you want to customize as per your requirement then when you click on gateways over here it will again since you have opted for the customized one you can you it is asking you for each and all, every option provisioning smart update what permission whether it should be read or write similarly you have so many options whether the shell option should be given uh, to this profile then comes the access control threat prevention policies monitoring and logging and so on so this is how you will be creating the profile if you want the customized profile if in case this profiles are not matching your requirement and of course you have a super user which will have a full read write permission including managing administrator and sessions so let's see how you will create a user now you will click on new over here and it will ask you for the new administrator so let's give the name of the user as security admin authentication method it will be checkpoint pass sorry os password or else you can say checkpoint password if you say os password then the it will be uh, the same password which we have set for os so let's say uh, let's say checkpoint password you can set the new password for this particular user Uh, it is uh, asking you the option as it asks in the windows uh, Active Directory and all that whether the user must change the password on next login You can click ok. Yes, user must change the passwords on next login Certificate information it is optional the permission it is asking uh, Let's create a super user one more super user and it is asking that expiration date when it will expire You can define the expiration date that on so and so date it will expire or you can say never and additional information is there if you wish you can or else it is optional click on ok and it will create a user for you one more super admin user will be created with the name security admin then comes uh, after we have seen the permission profile now comes the trusted client when we talk about trusted client guys if you remember in the initial setup it has asked us that uh, what all client should be or uh, what all IP address or network should be accessing this particular a uh, smart console or a, a security management server so at that time we have said any this is the same thing it is shown over here any host uh, type is any but if you want to uh, change it you can do it by like let's say give the name as per your convenient and then it is asking like it should be any or a specific ipv4 address then you can define that specific ipv4 address then it has a range option for you then it has a network option for you that ipv4 network this network should only be having access rest all should be denied so this also you can do this is how you will be adding the trusted client then going to the advanced option over here uh, you have administrator setting option authentication method the default one is checkpoint password default expiration date is never if you wish to set the date you can set it or uh, like a specific date or like if you have created now so how many years after it will be expired that you can define 
expiration notification option you have that show about to expire indication in administrator view 14 days in advance so like if the 14 days are left from that time it will start to give the indication to the admin that your user is going to expire that you can set it from here or notify administrator 30 days in advance the, uh, so it will be notified to the administrator also that the particular user is going to expire on so and so time and then checkpoint password setting uh, is there so checkpoint password minimum uh, password length for you can define it up to your requirement so guys i am talking about the checkpoint password okay uh, the checkpoint password is the one which we have set up now for the newly created user then uh, the normal setting which you have idle timeout setting and all that uh, perform logout after being idle so if you check this box you can define over here like after how many uh, minutes of inactivity the session will be logged out then login restrictions also you can define that logout administrator after three failed authentication attempt unlock administrator account after 30 minutes so if the user account is locked out due to three failed authentication attempt it will unlock after 30 minutes this is what uh, option you can define over here and display an information message informative message upon denying access so it will be displaying an informative message as well then we have already seen about the sessions uh, but uh, let's check about the blades the blades uh, you have a multiple blades right so that much more setting in depth that one setting you can define it from here like let's say when you talk about general it is the same one which you see when you go to gateways and server and open your global properties then comes application url filtering the advanced settings you can define for the application control and url filtering from here like in fail mode what action should be taken url filtering application control web browsing services so what are all other web applications set to be matched on the following services if you want to add some more services in this table you can do so by just clicking over here and that per service also will be coming into the picture then application port match web browsing option http inspection and all similarly advanced setting you have for content awareness threat pre prevention and you can just go over there and check it it's quite simple things coming to the session we have already seen these things in our previous time when we have done the tutorial about or you can say the session uh, about the database revision and also uh, the sessions are there then uh, one important thing this view session this is the session like it will give you a detail through a smart console which user is connected and from which ip it is connected so on then revision we have already discussed and during the time itself we have discussed about the advanced things as well and uh, guys over here the policy setting this is quite a simple thing i don't think that this needs to be explained like uh, security access default default so cell size what action should be taken if the cell is removed none object behavior and so on this you can read it and understand very well so guys that's all about the management and the basic setting of the smart console if you have any questions please feel free to comment me in the comment box and i will try my best to reply to your queries as soon as possible Thanks for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends see you in the next tutorial